Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to my channel. This is Liz. I hope you all having a great day wherever you may be. I am um, filming this video today about the Syrian Starseed Oracle um, by Patricia Corey and Al Alyssa Bartha. I did not buy this new. I got it at a thrift store. Honestly, it was pretty much new. Only a couple of cards were out of place. Uh, I have played with it since a couple of times. I do like it. It is a little bit different. Uh, I will show you where it's still based on the right of weight, but there are some different cards, especially the Major Arcana and the suits are, they're different names. And most of them, you'll know, there's a couple that are a little bit different that I had to like kind of get used to. But anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna to try to make this quick. If you hear my dog barking in the back, he's being kind of crazy today. Anyway, this is a big deck. This is a very sturdy box. I mean, this this is my my regular, uh, what is this, Starscapes? No, what is this one called? Shadowscapes, my Shadowscapes deck. And I'm gonna show you this deck as opposed to that one. And the Shadowscape deck is the size of a typical deck, although they're all a little bit different. Anyway, look at this deck. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge compared to, to this. It's like there's a big difference here. Okay, so. Sorry if that was loud. I wasn't trying to do that. Anyway. Um, I do like the book. I went through the book. One thing I really do love about the book is that there's prompts for like the different cards. Um, let's see if I can bring it up so you guys can see it. And it, there's like questions that you can ask yourself. It's great for journaling. Um, it is a thin book. The only thing I'm not a fan of in this book or in, uh, yeah, in the books, not the deck, is the uh, what are they called? The court cards. They don't have any definition of each individual court cards. They just have them. Oh my goodness, where is it? They just have it as the just for the particular like the the particular court card. Like instead of page, it's seeker. So you'd have seeker of flames, seeker of orbs, seeker of crystals. And Seeker of uh, Chalices, I believe. But they only have this. These four descriptions. It's I, That's the one thing I can honestly say I am not a huge fan of um, at all. Okay? So, my dog is whining. Oh, my goodness. I, You know, I've already tried to film this video a couple of times. And I keep getting interrupted. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> it's almost like it doesn't want to be. Anyway. I'm gonna go quick. So this is the first card. Now, a lot of the Major Arcana cards are different names, not all of them. So this would be the uh, Fool. And it's Starseed. Indigo, this would have been, um, or would be the Magician. But isn't that a beautiful card? Look at those eyes. Oh God, I love it. Higher Self would be the High Priestess. Abundance would be the Empress. Reason, that's the Emperor. Guidance, that is the Hierophant, which honestly, how many of us know what a Hierophant is before we started doing tarot? This actually makes more sense to me. The Lovers, that's the same. The Chariot, it's also the same. Strength, isn't that card gorgeous? The only, some of these numbers are very hard to see. Um, they are there, but they're, they're hard. some of them are very hard to see. Reflection, this would be the Hermit. The Great Wheel, which would be the Wheel of Fortune. Divine Justice, which is just justice in the other deck. Hanging Man, the Hanged Man. Transition, now I really do like this one. This would be, typically would be the Death card. But in this deck, it is Transition, which means you're transitioning from one phase of life into another. Even in death, you go on to something different. But most, I mean, 99.9% .9 of the time does not mean physical death. It usually means the death of something. You know, job, relationship, uh, anything. In a lot of cases, it's a good thing. Most cases, actually. 
alchemy, which would be temperance, the shadow, that's the devil. And this one, I kind of do like it. It's got two people here. There's a shadow behind them. There's mystery. There's a web. I mean, all kinds of things people can cause with their shadow side. The tower. The star. Luna, the moon. Solar deity instead of the sun. Karma, which would be judgment. I really do like that card too. And Ascension usually is the world. This card is gorgeous. Okay, now this, this is where it starts the uh, suits. So instead of wands, we have flames here, which wands is corresponds to fire, so it makes sense. So Ace of Flames, Two of Flames, and look, there's a face here. At first I hadn't seen it, but that's kind of cool. I'm sorry, I have, it's not that I have a cold, my allergies are kicking in today. Uh, I don't know why. Um, three of flames, four of flames, five of flames, six of flames, uh, seven of flames, eight of flames. That one's really cool. I like that. Nine of flames, ten of flames. Seeker. Now, this would be a page. Um, and so instead of page, it's the seeker. The adept would be the knight. It's a really cool looking card. I love this card. Sage of Flames, which would be the queen. And Master of Flames is the king. And that's an absolutely gorgeous card. Love it. Ace of Chalices, which would be cups. Chalices are cups. So this one's the only one that really corresponds. Uh, two of Chalices, which I love this one. Beautiful. Three of Chalices. Four of chalices, five of chalices, six of chalices, which I love. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Oh, love it. Love that one. Seven of chalices, eight of chalices, nine of chalices, ten of chalices. <clears throat> Once again, the page will be the seeker which is beautiful. The Adept is the Knight. Sage is the Queen. Master of Chalices, which is the King. Okay, now this is where it's a little bit different. I was a little confused with this one. Master of Warps, this is the Swords card. And this one, would it, it um, corresponds with Air, of course. And I don't know if it's supposed to be Bubbles. I haven't really looked into it all that much. I've only played with it a couple times. Um, but this is the only one that I, in my mind, I, I associated with pentacles and it's not. So I, in my mind, I would switch the two and just change the artwork a little bit, but hey, I'm not the creator. So anyway, ace of orbs, two of orbs, three of orbs, four of orbs, this five of orbs, which would be the five of, uh, swords is, um, Pretty interesting you know this person here is very shady six of orbs seven of orbs eight of orbs nine of orbs ten of orbs seeker of orbs the page adept of orbs the knight which this one actually does have a knight there Sage of Orbs, the Queen. Master of Orbs, the King. Ace of Crystals. Now this here, this one corresponds. This one's the one that corresponds with the Pentacles. So this is where I was a little confused between the, the Orbs and the Crystals. To me, I in my mind, it it gets transposed, but that's the only difference to me. So Ace of Crystals, Two of Crystals. Three of crystals, four of crystals, five of crystals, six of crystals, seven of crystals, eight of crystals. Oh, just noticed this. Is that the same tower? Yeah, it is. I hadn't noticed that before. Nine of crystals. That's really pretty. Ten of crystals, 
Seeker of Crystals, the page. Adept of Crips, Adept of Crystals, the Knight. Sage of Crystals, the Queen, beautiful. And Master of Crystals, the King. In this case, the Crystal Skull. So, large cards, thick cards. Um, they actually shuffle well. I already shuffled them before and I put them in order so I could show you guys. But they do shuffle well. This is the back. It's a nice deck. I you can easily get this on Amazon. I believe Walmart Online might have it. A couple, a few other stores, maybe Magic Planet. I'm not sure. You might be able to get it used. I got it used, and honestly, I feel that it's more. Uh, I mean, it's it's really new. I mean, the, the box was open. That was it. I honestly paid not much difference than would have been new. Um, because of where I got it, I didn't realize it, but next time I'll know. Either way, I do like it. I think you'll like it as well. Thank you for spending some time with me. Let's all be kind and good to one another. Life's too short to uh, uh, be vengeful and hateful, you know? So, let's blessings to everyone, and thank you so much.